Welcome to the session on Hadoop Streaming. In this session, we are going to learn how to use any command as mapper and reducer. So, what is Hadoop Streaming? Hadoop Streaming is a Hadoop library which makes it possible to use any program as mapper or reducer. We need it because of the following reasons. 1. Writing Java MapReduce is cumbersome. 2. There could be legacy code which is written in some other language that needs to be used in mapper or reducer. There are many non-Java programmers who need big data computation. Please note that here streaming does not mean real-time data processing or continuously running a process forever. Here it signifies that the data is passed through or streamed through the programs. You can use any program as mapper or reducer as long as it reads the data from standard input and writes the data to standard output. The mapper should give out key value pairs separated by tab. If there is no tab, the entire line will be considered as key and the value will be null. If there are more than one tabs in the output of mapper, entire content after the first tab will be considered as a value, which means the value would contain the tab. Also, please note that a key value pair is separated by new line from another key value pair. The reducer gets the data which is sorted by the key, but not grouped by the key. If you need grouping, you would have to do it by yourself inside reducer. Also, the Hadoop streaming is a jar that basically is written in Java the way we wrote our MapReduce program. So it actually ungroups the data before calling the reducer program. The command you see on the screen uses Unix commands to compute the frequencies of the words in the files located in HDFS directory slash data slash MR slash word count slash input. It uses SED as a mapper and unique as a reducer. Let's log into console. and execute the command provided on the screen. Once executed, it will generate the results in a folder word count underscore output underscore unix in your home HDFS directory. As you can see, it had generated the counts of unique words. How did it work? The simplistic data set should help us understand the process. If you have not gone through our video on computing word frequencies using Unix without Hadoop, please go through that first. In the example on the screen, we have
इनपुट लाइन कंटेनिंग सा रे सा गा एसीडी कमांड इज अवर मैपर द इनपुट फाइल विल बी फैड टू एसीडी लाइन वाइज एसीडी कमांड हियर इज रिप्लेसिंग स्पेस विद न्यू लाइन विच मीन्स इट इज जनरेटिंग ईच वर्ड एज द की एंड द वैल्यू इज नल हडूप विल सॉर्ट दिस डेटा एंड ऑन सॉर्टेड डेटा इट विल कॉल रेड्यूसर विच इज यूनिक माइनस सी यूनिक माइनस सी प्रिंट्स द फ्रीक्वेंसीज ऑफ लाइन्स इन द सॉर्टेड इनपुट सो इफ यू लुक एट इट क्लोजली हियर हडूप हैज ऑनली रिप्लेस द सॉर्ट कमांड इन अवर यूनिक वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग वर्ड काउंट इन द सिमिलर फैशन इफ वी हैव मल्टीपल रेड्यूसर्स द यूनिक कमांड विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑन मल्टीपल मशीन्स simultaneously note that all of the values for a key would go to the same reducer in the previous case we used sed and unique command which were already installed on all machines what if the program that we are using as a mapper or reducer is not installed on all machines we can use hyphen files option to send the files to all of the machines these files get copied on the current working directory of mapper or reducer on all nodes let us take a look in the previous example our data was not cleaned enough let's try to clean the data using our cell script create a file mycmd.sh by using nano text editor type nano space mycmd.sh and press enter The first line of this file need to start with hash exclamation followed by the name of the program with which we want to execute the script here since we are using unix cell programming so we keep it slash bin slash bash then we write this script in this script first sed is replacing the spaces with new line and the second sed is removing non alpha numeric characters from the output of previous command then the tr command is converting everything into lower case the result would be one word per line in lower case having only alpha numeric characters then we save this file by pressing control x and then y and then pressing enter on the file location afterwards we make it executable with ch mode plus x mycmd.sh in unix ch mode plus x is required if you want to execute a program now our mapper script is ready let's use this script instead of sed command in our previous hadoop streaming job the only additional parameter we need to provide is dash file or dash files dash file takes this script and puts it on all the machines before the job starts running since it puts the file in the current working directory of the mapper we need to refer this program with dot slash we can also set the number of reducers by using a parameter hyphen d mapred dot reduce dot tasks equal number of reducers once this program completes the output would be in word count underscore clean underscore unix directory in hdfs home please check it is very clean now the result is more meaningful now few notes about map reduce streaming it is okay to have no reducer you can omit hyphen reducer and the command all together if you don't have any reducer and you do not want any sorting you can use an option hyphen d space mapred dot reduce dot task equals 0 in such cases number of mappers would decide how many files are generated otherwise number of files generated are equal to the total number of reduced tasks number of map tasks is equal to the total number of input splits and it is a function of input format if we want to customize number of mappers we can do so either using conf dot set num map tasks in our java driver or using hyphen d mapred dot map dot tasks equals map task from hadoop jar command line since number of reduced tasks is a choice that we need to make 
A common question is how many reduced tasks are good enough? If we have too many reduced tasks, the job will finish quickly, but the framework load will be higher. Also, more number of reduced tasks lowers the chance of failure. After experimentation, it was realized that our reduced tasks should be somewhere between 0.95 to 1.75 times the maximum tasks possible. The maximum tasks that can be executed on your entire cluster is total number of nodes in the cluster multiplied by maximum simultaneous tasks that can be executed on each node which is 2 by default. Testing of your MapReduce job is very much required. So generally, you would first test on small random sample data instead of head or tail of the file. You should separately test mapper and reducer. An streaming job could be easily tested with simple Unix command without Hadoop. Cat input file, pipe, my mapper, pipe, sort, pipe, my reducer redirecting to output file. In this command, input file is the file that contains random sample data. My mapper is your mapper command, and my reducer is your reducer command. An output file would have the result of the entire pipeline. 